written by Rachel McGuire and illustrated by Dave Henderson. The setting of my book is at the dust camp. The characters are Katie, Fred, Ed, and Mr. and Mr. Duck. Fred is a Saint Bernard dog. He was the dust rescue dog. The dust led by a big cliff. The street fell down. There's a big beach. Fred is trying to find some pictures of himself resting him. When Fred found the pictures, he went to where people write the newspaper. The dog had got a bad before that because of his cat fudge, the red paint on him. The boy had been painting a sign with the paint that said, Pet Show Today, everyone needs a sign. Mr. Duff forgot to put his cat collar on. In the newspaper, guy came out he saw Fred didn't have his collar on. He didn't even look at the picture. He just took him Fred to the town. At the town, he met a dog named Butch. He asked him what the chances are of getting out. He said none. Fred figured that Butch wasn't very smart. When one of the town men came in to see them, Fred tore a piece of the bag off. He got it real wet and then, and then when the guy came around to close the door, Fred put a piece of paper in the lock. When Fred tried to open the door, it opened. He decided to wait till in the night. The keeper leave at 4 p.m. At 9 p.m., Fred got out of his cage a broken window and he jumped out. When he got home, the dust was just on even dirt. Mrs. Duff usually forgot to clear the table and Fred got to eat what he wanted. Fred went outside and heard Bud seeing the cat run. Fred decided to pounce on him. When he thought he saw He passed but on a skunk. He got straight. He went into the dust car and went to sleep. Mr. Duff got really mad at him. They had to pour tomato sauce on him. The pet show was the next day. He wouldn't be able to to be there because he was still covered with tomatoes. When all the people got to the pet show, Fred got worried. He found an unfixed window that was down. Fred ran and, tell, and told every pet to run away. They ran away and Fred A bunny raft ran away and Fred found it in Katie's letter drawer. Katie was mad. When Fred got down, he sat on a bench and Bud was looking. Bud liked, liked the taste of the sauce. That is why he got the prize for being the tastiest. Okay, Sean, can you explain how you made your bookmark, first of all? Um, <coughs> I got um, some rope and put it on the, the 
do it and then I had to take it off. So I and then I put this on. Then I put it back on and then I put a piece of paper and wrote the title of the book and who it was by and who it was illustrated by. And If you would um, answer a few questions, we will go on. Okay. I'd probably give you an AC because I like how you stop me in between sentences and I like your summary. Um, what would you grade yourself? an AC because I think you did a good job, but next time I think you should make a little more eye contact with the audience. My friend, I would rate you an AC for another thing you would do is speak up. Speaking louder, good, good suggestions. Now, remembering one thing that we've talked about is for not everyone to give their evaluation after a couple of people have that maybe then if we can come up with a couple of other questions. So if you're thinking that you want to give them a rubric score, put your hand down because we've had a couple. Other questions, Sean, if you can select about three other questions. What's your favorite part in the book? One more question. Okay, Sean. Yeah. Log voice, please. The title of my book is Freeman. It is written by Andrew Clement. The pictures are by Brian Kresnick. The setting of my book is at school and outside. The characters were Nick, the principal, and the other kids in the school. So Nick Allen got into fifth grade, he started getting into trouble. The, the worst thing was when Nick Allen made up the word Brindle. He got the whole school to stay after school because they said the word Brindle. They had to write 100 sentences that said, I am writing the punishment with the Brindle. They even had a reason for that. The reason was because their friends were there. Friendle, the word friendle got so popular when Nick was out of sixth grade, he got to be on his mother.
ahead, Sean. Could I have you pass your summary this way, please? Sean, please um, share your riddles, first of all, Michael Bach, and then we'll go on from there with questions. My first one says, some people like to smash me into a ball, and to others, they are like to. Repeat it one more time, Sean. Some people like to smash me into a ball, and others, they like to. That's soccer. Friend. Please raise your hand. Dad. Soccer? No. Michael. Dad. No. Vegetables? Is ball. it a ball at all? No. Paint. Paper? Encyclopedia? Mm -hmm. Very close. Mm -hmm. uh, di I'm dictionary. dictionary. I'm trying. Dictionary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Encyclopedia mm -hmm. is no. not a dictionary. It's not. I'm it's talking to him. I'm saying I'm an encyclopedia. I can be feathery. I can be fancy. Mm -hmm. But the thing I do best is tell you what another person is thinking. Michael Fortune Teller? Any other questions for Sean? Second. Michael Bach. That's a good question, Brittany.
Okay, Sean. The title of my the book I read was My Parents Think I'm Sleeping. The poems were written by Jack Perluski. The pictures were by Yoshi Abdulica. The book is all about a little boy and things he is thinking about when his mom and dad think he's sleeping. The poems are about scary things, things that make him happy, poems of things that amaze him, poems that make him think of silence, poems that make him wonder, for instance, how darkness makes color fade away. Poems about the clouds, sun, rain, and shadows, it ends with a poem about him trying to get to sleep. My favorite poem is when I'm very nearly sleeping. I like it because it is the scariest poem of all. It talks about a monster that wants to bite you. It, I will read the poem for you. When I'm very nearly sleeping, in the middle of the night, and I hear the furtive creeping of a thing that likes to bite. You may be completely certain that I haven't any fear, though when it is on my curtain, how I wish it were not there. When I sense the creature perching on my pillow underneath, and suspect that it is searching for a spot to sink its teeth, and I'm sure I feel it flitting, but an inch above my head, I'm glad a, a lamp is sitting on the table by my bed. Okay, Sean, do you want to explain your project? Well, first, um, when I was when I used to homeschool, um, I had a bunch I had books that were like science and I cut this out and and I this was out of this um, scary book and this is what I I drew when I was like five and this I got out of the front of a magazine, and the snake was in the same thing, the same science book as this, and that one too, and that um, dinosaur I got out of the magazine, and that I got out of a strange creature card, and I got that bed out. And then I wrote um, the tile up here and poems by Jack Kulski and um, I kind of did it like a crossword puzzle and then we, um, yeah, it was we did the edges that we put markers. We used markers to put it on the edges. Okay. Can I ask you um, to pass your summary this way so I can look it over and then um, you can ask questions?
Tell why? I didn't. I didn't use my time very well. <laughs> um, Bobby, um, can you please play the Where would you get the book? Um, Is this the book I gave you for Christmas? Yeah. Well, gee, you just have to have a nice teacher that gives you one for Christmas. Now, I, I gave you a different book, but maybe he would let you borrow it. I'm probably going to do that other one. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, one more question, Jasmine. Yeah. What was the Allie? Tab? How long do you think it took you? It took me probably about, about a day and a half. Okay, Jessica, did you have a question, honey? Um, I forgot it. Okay. Ready, Sean. The title of my book is Help on Crafting Over Your Kids. The author is a very good author. Most of the story takes place outside, at school, or at dreamhouse. The main characters are Andy, Jake, Jessica, Mr. and Mrs. Sherman, Josh, Josh, Lance, the family dog, and Lance, the family dog. The adventure begins. Before we do questions, will you explain what you made for a project and show the boys and girls? I made fancy folder and first I took the pencil and made a little and then I colored it in with my marker that I got from the school store and then
Good job, Sean.
Okay, first of all, before you start um, with questions, please explain to us what you did for your project. I have three boys, excuse me, I apologize, Sean, if I can just interrupt. I have three boys um, who are not being respectful listeners. I apologize, Sean, go ahead. Yeah, I used to do those when I was a little girl. Now, where did you buy that? Um, I got it for Christmas. Did you get it for Well, then what a great idea. It tied right in with your book. Um, I would like to pick one of those up for um, uh, that's kind of a fun little project to do over the summertime. Uh huh. Yeah, those are fun. Yeah. No, he. It was like a paint by number. We have one of those in the classroom. Okay. Now, um, if we'll answer questions. People right in front of the camera, if you can um, keep your hands down. Can I have your summary, Sean? Allie, grab a summary, please. 